Hi everyone, happy solar eclipse in Aries. Uh, this is going to be very eventful time because not only do we have the solar eclipse in Aries, we also have Pluto return. We also have the Jupiter and Uranus conjunction. So we have all this craziness happening during the month of April. I mean, obviously Pluto return is lasting throughout the year pretty much and into the next 20 years, but everything that we've said is happening. We have people that because of Pluto and Capricorn, a lot of positions, people in power, a lot of that power is being stripped. Um, and the transits are leaning more towards power to the people, giving the people what they want, right? A lot of people who were considered to be conspiracy theorists and crazy are now proving accurate because now you have the wild stuff about, ooh, like, there are no tunnels, what are you talking about? And now we have these reports of crazy things like P. Diddy has tunnels underneath, blah, 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 and everyone's like, I knew it! You have all this weird, crazy stuff, right, coming out that just, you know, seemed crazy five years ago. And, well, I mean, is it? I don't know. You guys tell me it's more just drama to add to the, <laughs> to the crazy storylines that people are running with because the tabloids love it. You know, people are fixated on things that they don't know, don't understand, and have to get to the bottom of. So everybody lately seems to want to just take on the role of being a professional detective. Why don't you sign up for the FBI? Might serve you well if you're so obsessed. I don't know. Like, hmm. Um, <laughs> so, you know, this is where we are. We have this Jupiter-Uranus conjunction that is occurring on April 20th. This is also the same date as the Bitcoin halving. This Jupiter and Uranus conjunction is happening at 21 degrees in Taurus. So whatever your situation is, if you have 21 degrees in Taurus or within five degrees, 16 degrees to 26 degrees, then you might be in luck with having some sort of an unexpected technological or unexpected financial or some sort of a windfall, a love windfall, a connection that changes the rest of your life, something significant that occurs as a result to all of this. So in this case, you know, I want you guys to remember that through the next few weeks, post-eclipse season, we are still in post-eclipse season and we are still in Mercury in retro. So everything that's occurring is bringing a lot of stuff back from the past, but keep in mind that this is every 84 years that we have a Jupiter-Uranus conjunction in Taurus. Now we have it every 13, 14 years in different signs, but this is the first time in 84 years or 83 years that we are having this conjunction in Taurus. So, people that are going to be most affected by this will be Libras, will be Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see. So, keep in mind things that are coming up, Aquarius, this is fade, destined and fated events, right? We have a lot of truths that are coming out with the Ace of Swords here. This is the Queen of Swords, the Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. And... We have the Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn energy, right? So we have this Piscean hanged man energy that sort of like people are at a standstill with trying to figure out what's next because there's a lot of stuff going on. Week, but this is the new moon as well. So we have the new moon, Aries energy. Oh my gosh, this is a very potent candle. I have to blow it out. Um, it's too much for me to handle right now. Um, so a lot of truths coming out with this high priestess energy and the new moon in Aries, all these things occurring starting tomorrow, starting the 8th of April, prepare for the unexpected. Now, when it comes to Jupiter and Uranus and Taurus, this is why we need to focus on this particular timing because the Bitcoin halving is occurring within the same day, give or take a day, right? As the conjunction. This is setting the precedent. This is setting everything up for the next digital revolution. 
This is a 13 year cycle that is beginning literally as of the 20th of April. So this is gonna go on until 2036, 2037. So if you look at <laughs> you know, the time frames for certain things, this is telling you all you need to know. Whatever is happening when it comes to the expansion of technology, because Jupiter is expansion and money and wealth, Uranus is unexpected, it's technology, it's, when you think of technology, it's unexpected, it's wild card energy. This is a time frame where the next 13 years could be very lucrative, could be very just wild. Last time that we had this event, okay, um, was around the 1940s. So just for people to have some historical like info in regards to what was occurring during the 1940s, let's take a look back at what was happening then. Easily can be Google searched, but we're going to compare and contrast to what we're hearing now to then because as we all know, history does not repeat, but it often does rhyme as J.P. Morgan states. So, what was occurring then? Well, in the U.S. in 1940, Arthur Dickinson of IBM invented the very first digital electronic computer. Wow, hmm, interesting timing, isn't it? And now we have not necessarily the invention of Bitcoin, but we have the having of Bitcoin, which could lead us into the six figure range that no one ever saw coming. Digital gold, digital assets being stored, being preserved, right? We also had the color television. We elevated TV from being black and white to being color. Interestingly enough, within a year, less than a year, of this conjunction in Taurus, we had Oppenheimer come out. Guess what was created in the 40s? Guess what occurred in the 40s? We had the atomic BOMB. We had WW2, can't say these words because then I'll get flagged. We also had women in war. All of those, those advertisements that were being posted British women go, you know, help out in wars this way. American women fight for rights, uh, blah, 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 right? You just have to look up what was being discussed. And now, where are we now? Suddenly, we are seeing Putini Weenie deciding to discuss and stir up ruckus and conflict. We just saw a senator that was discussing how eventually we will have Ukraine join NATO, okay? One of the senators, just type in one of the, I don't know what the senator's name was. Let's find out since we're here and I can easily Google search. Oh, nope. Senator Lindsey Graham just backed Ukraine's NATO membership as the country with the most combat experience. So we have senators fighting for NATO allies to come about to, uh, yeah, Senator, Secretary of State, big deal. Uh, Antony Blinken has just mentioned this, that Ukraine will become a member of NATO three days ago. So here we go, we have Putin, starting to stir up ruckus with uh with nuki wookies okay whether it's propaganda or not it's the simple fact that it's being discussed right we have these situations where um now right we have women in leadership that are going to be at the forefront of war because they are now not necessarily directly in the seats um, of the actual fighters, but they're in the seat of number two, vice, right? We have more of those types of situations being forced to the forefront, right? We also 
have, what else came about here then? The first diving suit for deep space. <clears throat> oh, I'm so sorry. I meant sea diving. Ha <laughs> ha. That's a cringe joke. Ha ha ha. Not really. Um, we have mobile phones, of course. That's very interesting. And for those who might be interested, 84 years prior to this 1940 Jupiter, Uranus, and Taurus, the last time frame that we would have seen this occur, guess who was born? 1856, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, 84 years prior, 1856, guess who was born? Nikola Tesla. Very interesting. I could be off by a year or two, but the fact remains the same, give or take a few years. Big deal. So, you know, we have all this stuff going on that's encouraging people not only to think, it's just to be forced to pretty much accept the fact that we are not in Kansas anymore, people, right? We are not in Kansas anymore, okay? We are in Oz. We are in a time frame where things, everything's a wild card, where everybody and everything is getting exposed. No one can hide. Who's next is the question. Who's next on the chopping block? I mean, it's quite literally right out of the Dark Knight Rises when Scarecrow is taking all of the executives and placing them. <laughs> and, and, and if you remember that scene, um, you know, going through a list of people that are going to get on the chop go on the chopping block and here we are some version of exactly that right with pluto return it's quite literally going to continue in my humble opinion we're going to keep seeing this exact theme for quite some time i don't know how long it could be months could be years but we're seeing a very similar like hashtag reign of terror okay but just not as extreme or maybe it is i don't know we have no idea because we have all sorts of information that that is not being disclosed and i'm sure if people go onto these creepy questionable chat rooms they'll find out what whatever it is that they're interested in knowing right so we have the ace of swords we have the eight of wands messages coming in high priestess eight of cups leaving things behind we have taurus virgo cap Piscean energy again. So again, I'm feeling uh, when it comes to this, this Aries energy, you know, I don't want to say what I think, but I think that remember, we have to always remind ourselves that, you know, <laughs> the worst quote, the worst saying I think that I've ever stated said before I'm coining this quote as mine because I've never heard anybody else say it, okay? But the worst times in history will be the best times and are the best times and have always been the best times to profit. Just think about the past 20 years, the worst situations to have ever occurred. The most wealth has been built out of the worst times in history. And you just have to look at the historical trends, right? And, you know, so... Take it or leave it because those things aren't changing. You're not going to be able to fix these things to make things work to be better. All you can do is go through the motions and accept the fact that some things are bigger than us. And, you know, we don't necessarily control what other people that report that we report to or that whoever reports to reports to reports to on top of reporting to. They all have their own things going on and they're bigger than us. They have more resources than us, no matter how rich you are, no matter who you are, someone out there, someone out there is still telling you what to do. And we're seeing just that, okay? You know, um, and a lot of these things being inside jobs and just accepting the fact that you know, to some degree, whether it's an inside job because it's being planned or because we are in a simulation, whatever you want to argue, um, it's happening, right? Whether we like it or not, some version of this is occurring. And 
it's a very matter of fact time frame where again you can't hide from what is here if you decide that you want to be stuck in the in the gold in the old ages in the stone ages that is on you completely your problem completely your fault the world is going to keep on moving on and you can either take it or you can leave it right it's the same with with the jupiter and uranus conjunction that is going to be a tipping point where we see exactly that, right? With this Bitcoin situation, seeing people starting to just make a hundred, seeing a Bitcoin go to a hundred thousand or even close to that is going to be like, it should be the biggest wake up call to people out here who are still denying the fact that it is occurring, that new, that the, the great wealth transfer that was coined as a conspiracy is literally in your face. And, you know, just a year and a half ago, we were talking about Bitcoin is 15K. Now's the time. They didn't want to listen then. Now people are up 85K. They are making double their salaries. They are making triple their salaries because of crypto right now, right? And and, and they will continue to do so because we are in unusual times that call for unusual ways to make money now how much money you make and i make and the person next to you makes is totally you know different right because everybody has their own problem and hey just because you make 300 grand doesn't mean that 80 percent of that isn't going to be going to paying off debts so whatever your situation is right like there are people out there that are thinking oh this person suddenly made so much money well did they because if everybody's in debt that's not making any money you're just breaking even and actually starting your life now right so a lot of people that's what they're doing with this next wave of money but there will be few people who are able to surpass that to surpass the debt cycle and to become the new one percent asset class the new elites whatever you want to call it and really benefit from this next wave, this next 13 years. So, you know, I'm going to pull out some different cards just because I feel like the messages have been relayed. That's a lot of info. I feel like I didn't even shuffle really, but that's where we are. So, ooh, look at that flew out. You guys saw it. And look what card it is. Here we are. We have the lion interesting reminds me of a doge reminds me of sheeb and we have leo within the next 7 to 14 days so 7 to 14 days from now the latest amount of time by july 22nd to august 21st it's very interesting because if you've noticed you'll probably you probably have noticed that a lot of people have disappeared from your life from your circle because guess what they're doing they're doing their own thing. They don't care about what you're doing anymore. A lot of these people are being eclipsed out of your life. Even if they're cool, doesn't mean that they're not cool with you, that you're not friends, but it's just the fact that you don't have anything in common anymore, right? Maybe you are at a distance. Maybe that person's married and you're not. Maybe you're chasing some sort of another dream. Maybe five, 10 years from now, you circle back around. But the reality is, you know, this is a time where people are being called on their BS. A lot of the people are being called to rise up to be who they've always who they were always supposed to be, right? But the garden, public venues, societies, crowds, we have Jupiter. The Phoenix rising, the white horse. Spring, I mean, yeah, it's here. Spring and trophy. So, you know, whatever happens, given the fact that we are at the 7th of April, we've been calling this being the week, the week that the bull run probably starts, okay? Continuously, every single day, I continue to feel the same exact things. Astrologically, the same things line up to where this week, all the way until about the 20th of April, is really when we're going to see resolutions no later than the 30th 29th to 30th of april that's like the latest time frame where you will see you know people starting to just make money again uh, another round of people 
because there was a first round that happened in February, March with those triple Kazimis, but there's another round of people that are going to make money again, April, May timeframe. And, you know, and that's it. And then we will talk about what happens next, but this is kind of that time. It's, you know, <laughs> you're either in or you're not, you're either in or you're out. And if you're out, uh, if you haven't even started to get in, you're kind of late. Okay, you're gonna have to wait until the next bull run, the next cycle. And frankly, I don't know what that's gonna look like because here's what we also have to consider is if the Jupiter-Uranus conjunction is occurring in Taurus that will last for 13 years, the last time we saw some sort of a tech boom, that tech boom was in the 2000s and it lasted for like multiple years from like 1995 or something to like 2000. I don't know the, number, the dates exactly. The height of the tech boom happened in 2000, also a dragon year. So, of course, this is going to be another dragon year. But um, the crash happened in 2001. So we saw this tech boom happen, and it lasted for five years or so, right? Off, obviously on and off, but for five years being titled the tech, the tech boom, right? You can just look up tech boom. Boom timeline. What dates? Let's see. Tech boom. And if you look up 1995 to 2000 specifically, that was called the dot com bubble. And literally, literally lasted. Ballooned during the late 90s and peaked on Friday, March 10th, 2000. And that's like literally the day of the dragon year or something. It's like within a few days that the dragon year starts. Point is, here we are with five years. So who knows? Does this mean that we are going to have as of the Venus-Uranus conjunction in Taurus? Could this herald in some long-term tech the crypto boom that lasts for four or five years that mirrors the roaring 20s that we've been talking about for ages where we see, you know, 2024 to 2025 is the beginning. Maybe there are regulations. Maybe there is a crash. But what if it's just one crash in one group? What if Bitcoin is the only one that crashes and other cryptos and altcoins start running? And then one of those altcoins disappear and then ISO 20022 coins start going crazy. The reality is... If you're to have multiple years of different groups or baskets, as Brad Garlinghouse term, uh, coins as a term um, in an interview that I saw, whatever the case, if we continue to have these types of things occur over the course of four or five years or 10 years, who knows, right? This, uh, there's some version of a height, a peak that could come. The next dragon year, if you think about it, okay, 2024 plus 12, 2036. Oh, how long is the Venus, is the Uranus Jupiter conjunction supposed to last? Uh, this 13 year wave? Yeah, right along the same exact time frame lines of the dragon year, right? So, <laughs> you know, it's, it's kind of looking like the next, you know, up to about 13 years into the mid 30s we see some version of uh, the beginning towards the peak of a crypto revolution and this is all brought upon by the jupiter uranus conjunction in taurus and similar to that okay remember because if we are going to see this type of stuff that occurs um, simultaneously to have the Roaring Twenties, you know, having things, other things, Gilded Age things, right? Uh, women in power, who's in power? I don't know, right? Who's taking the throne? Who's overtaking the throne? Who's transitioning out and transitioning in? Uh, you know, who knows? And that whole concept is going to be like kind of continue but with the mortar and pestle this is telling us with medicine this is about spell work this is about making 
something else. This is about concoction. It's about creating, creating a new way of doing things. And frankly, you guys, this could be the next, because this is born during Pluto return, this could be something, this crypto energy could be something that lasts for the next 200 some, some odd years until the next Pluto return. And everybody in the world knows that the last Pluto return, well, if you don't, congrats, you're now knowing, you're now learning. The last time we had Pluto return was 1776, the creation of the United States of America. Is this new crypto revolution, the new version of the United States of America? Because if everybody's talking about America no longer exists, blah, 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 well, maybe the new version of like, freedom or something i don't know is like crypto i in this is we're just in like the beginning baby 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 stages like you being a crypto adopter is that equivalent to being like a founding father or something i don't know you tell me um that was cringy but maybe there's something to this and i guess we'll have to see if this resonates or if this is ends up being some version of a storyline now obviously this is a little bit more dramatic because I am a woman but generally speaking these concepts the way that I'm trying to relay them are just to use like creative use the historical information that we have and fit little puzzle pieces together of how it could look right because death and rebirth is a real thing okay and we are starting to see this and you know, obviously US will come back. It's just, and it's here, but it's gonna take a little bit of time. But point is, this is the new, this is maybe this is the new Declaration of Independence. Maybe what we're seeing right now is some new version of rewriting some new way of existing as a democratic republic, okay? So, that's all I have to say here. I feel like I said enough, but you know, we're looking at really between now and 2025, this spring is it, right? Spring forward. Everything is way more elemental this time around. If you hear noise in the background, I apologize, but everything is coming full circle exactly as it's supposed to. So allow it to allow for Jupiter to make its move, allow for these things to manifest and become what they're supposed to become and get your popcorn because there's nothing you can do about it. Ah. <laughs> Just have to watch and from the sidelines and enjoy the show because that's where we are. Uh, okay, happy solar eclipse and I wish you the best of whatever this brings for the collective. Take care.